step cost also similar to the semi variable cost it's also a combination of uh, fixed and variable but that combination is worked together within a relevant range right so what does it mean like as in semi variable cost once you used your fixed cost right then your variable cost will start and fixed cost will not come back, come again as you're using your cost is increasing so once your limit of the fixed cost is finished your cost will turn into a variable cost that is your semi variable but in step cost is a little bit different in step cost uh, your fixed and variable both are moving together all right fixed variable fixed variable so better I, I, I explain you through the graph so that is basically the graph of your step cost all right so it's, it's, it's like a step so you can see that here is a range all right here is a particular range right here that is your relevant range if you are within a range your cost is fixed but if you cross that range your cost will be increased let's say 0 10 20 and 30 all right so that's your cost let's say 50 100 150 so on all right so i give example of vehicles wheel all right or tire You know that in our motorbike or in our uh, car, we have a vehicles. Oh, sorry, we have a um, wheel, and wheel has a life. All right. So after a particular kilometers, we have to change the wheel. So let's say the life of um, uh, a wheel is a uh, 10 kilometers. So after 10 kilometers, we have to change the wheel. For example. So um, if you run your vehicles 0 to 10 kilometers your cost will be same all right fifty dollars so you run one kilometer is two kilometers five kilometers or nine or ten kilometers your cost will be a fifty so like fifty or one hundred let's say one hundred because we have one hundred here so zero to ten cost is fixed right cost is fixed as we learn in from the fixed cost graph which is like this all right so that is the fixed cost graph so here is your fixed cost all right but if you cross the limits let's say your vehicles run 12 kilometers so 0 to 10 all right and 10 to 20 so it's 10 to 20 means you your cost will be increased here your cost will be increased why? because we have to change the tire and the cost is less than another fifty dollars so from zero to I don't know zero to twenty your cost is one hundred and fifty right so zero to twenty so no, not one hundred and fifty right. so one hundred and one hundred so the total is two hundred so zero to twenty kilometers your cost is two hundred dollars right zero to 20 your cost is 200 here so 10 to 20 you have only 10 kilometers you run uh, 11 kilometers 12 kilometers 19 kilometers 20 kilometers your cost is fixed but if you cross the limits your cost will be increased again here cost will be increased again here all right so you run that kilometers cost is fixed you run here you run here or you run here or from here your cost will be fixed but if you cross it so 
your cost will be increased. So increase means, of course, variable. All right. So variable. But that variables give you another another range. All right. And that means another limit. All right. So you run with a limit. That's fine. You don't have to change tire. But if you cross that limits of your kilometers, then you have to change the tire. If you change the tire, again, your cost will be increased. So that's why the graph of step cost is look like steps. All right. So that is the example of your um, step cost. Not only the wheel or tire is an example of step cost. Some people, they argue that cost of supervision or supervisor cost is also a step cost because one supervisor cannot supervise unlimited people unlimited workers all right so in that case one supervisor has unlimited people let's say one supervisor can maximum uh, supervise maximum 20 people so 0 to 20 people we have a one supervisor all right 20 to 40 people then we have a second supervisor second supervisor means cost increase but second supervisor also a limit uh, so 22 workers, 25 workers, 30 workers, 35 workers, 39 workers, or 40 workers. We do not need a third supervisor. All right. But if the worker exceeds the limit, which is 40, then your cost will be increased. You need another supervisor. All right. So that's the example of the step cost. All right. So that's all about learning outcome one, which is the cost nature, mainly that's the nature of the cost. Variable, all right. Fixed, semi-variable, and the step cost. All right. Now we move on to the next learning outcome, which is learning outcome three. As I said that in the beginning of the lecture, that learning outcome two is not part of your syllabus. So learning outcome three. Learning outcome three is about the behavior. All right. It means, you know that, what is the nature of total fixed cost? The nature of total fixed cost is, is fixed, doesn't change, remain constant, all right? And the nature of total variable cost is change, all right? Now, what is the behavior of variable cost per unit? The behavior of variable cost per unit is a fixed. All right. What does it mean? For example, you are paying a ten dollars per hour to worker. Worker works three hours. All right. So means ten dollars per hour, ten dollars per hour, ten dollars per hour, and worker work three hours. So your total variable cost will be $30, but your, your labor cost per hour will be $10. So $10, $10, $10. So the idea is that variable cost per unit will be fixed. All right. Total variable cost change, the behavior of fixed cost per unit also a change all right the behavior of fixed co fixed cost per unit will be changed it means as we are producing more product fixed cost per unit will be keep reducing same like as your economic of sales all right so for the given level of um, uh, cost we should maximize the number of product if you produce the maximum product then um, um, then the cost per product will be reduced like as a supervisor the cost of supervision is a is a is a uh, uh, fix and one supervisor let's say supervise 0 to 20 products all right so what company wants company want to produce as much as possible which is the limit is 20 up 20 products so company wants to produce 20 products all right if company will produce so let's say the cost is hundred dollar all right so if 
company will ask supervisor to supervise 20 products. So the cost of per product will be $5. All right. If supervisor will supervise only one product, so the cost per product will be $100. All right. So you can see that it's change. All right. If you supervise 20 products, or if you supervise one product. All right. So that is called fixed cost per unit. All right. So that is mainly the behavior of the fixed cost per unit. So you have to keep in your mind the nature of total fixed cost and the behavior of the fixed cost per unit. So I repeat, total total fixed cost remains same, no matter level of production increase or decrease. But fixed cost per unit change as per level of production. All right. Total variable cost change as per the level of production, but variable cost per unit remains same. No matter you produce more, you produce less. No matter worker work more or worker work less, company will pay them fixed per hour or fixed fixed per product. All right. So that's all about your learning outcome uh, three. All right. So now we move on to the learning outcome four. So learning outcome four is about the accounting treatment. I won't go in detail of accounting treatment because it's quite uh, quite basic, quite similar to direct material and direct labor accounting treatment that you learn in your past few weeks. Alright? So <clears throat> learning outcome four. Alright, which is the accounting treatment. So, you know, as we learn from our introductions, uh, that there are different kinds of cost involved into factory overheads. All right. So the idea is that, as you learn in your financial accounting, that uh, uh, when we records the um, accounting information in company accounts, we make the journals and ledgers. In ledgers, we are making the various key accounts. 